Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Astria. Last time we played as Hebelius the Guardian. We had a lot of fun with Sentinels and just generally had a good time. Uh, we didn't win the run, but I have actually been playing a bit off of stream lately and we actually beat the game both with Ostra and our new character here, Sophis, the Outcast Prince. Um, when we beat the game with a character, we see like a uh, like a door with the five character, uh, the five unlockable characters on it. So I'm assuming that we have to beat the game with all of the characters in order to move on. Uh, but before we attempt that, we're going to finish showcasing the characters, one video each. And right now we're on to Ostra, Will of the Winds. Uh, one thing we did unlock when we beat the game for the first time was this anomaly level, which is going to work like the Slayer Spire Ascension system. I'm not going to mess around with it right now. I'm going to try and finish my showcase of all the characters before we go for anything like that. Um, so Ostra here, um, she's an explorer from Apis, and she has the Apian Lamp. Um, Self-proclaimed, the best explorer of the star system. Ostra uses her flying expertise to travel to um, to travels to remote locations, typo there, um, while searching for lost relics. On one of her expeditions, she stumbled upon her most prized find, and uh, the Apian's Estrarium. Sagocious uh, and intimate air. Eh. What's this? Sagacious and intimately connected with the skies, she personifies chaos and unpredictability, making her an expert in controlling randomness and dealing with surprises. So, from what I've played with her so far, she kind of relies on the confusion dice effects, the ones that have a 50% chance to do a good thing and a 50% chance to do a bad thing. Um, she also has uh, some innate dodge and some innate critical. So, she has a lot of chance-based mechanics, but she has a lot of ways to play around that. She's pretty complicated. I'd say it's maybe the hardest character I've played with so far. Uh, the other character, Sophis, we've not actually played with yet. But, yeah, we're going to jump in. We're going to have a run here with Ostra. What I'm going to do uh, is quickly pause the recording, though, and uh, report that typo I found. I will be right back. And we're back from doing our gameplay duties, and we're going to start our run here with Ostra. <clears throat> she starts with the uh, Apian, la Apian Lamp. At the start of each battle, we get 10 critical and 10 dodge. Dodge cannot be lower than 10, but critical can. I don't think there's any way to reduce our critical anyway. Critical is we have that percentage chance to deal our critical multiplier extra damage. So um, our critical multiplier here is free, so we'll drill triple damage on crits. Dodge is we have a X percent chance of dodging corruption, and then it decreases the dodge number by the amount of corruption that we successfully dodged. Uh, it can't be go below 10, so that's pretty good. Let's see who our boss is. We have the uh, Smoldering Beast, so a lot of uh, Spirit Mantle going on. We could go for the Black Hole Blessing. Uh, I think this character likes the Black Hole Blessing more than other characters, so let's go here. And I typically think drawing more dice with any character is a good thing. So let's see what we can find. We have Purification received by enemies by one, Corruption received by enemies by one. Uh, draw two additional dice per turn, you can only use one Virtue per turn. Uh, this character's Virtues are actually pretty bad, so I actually think that this would be good. Um, increase purification received by enemies by one. You see, you deal one less purification to you and sentinels. We very rarely receive purification from enemies, so I think we're going to go for the two additional dice, one co uh, one virtue play. Yeah, these virtues are not the best, so we're just going to move on. The thunder strike is very good, but we can play it anyway. We can play one per turn, so it's not that bad. So we get pretty big purify dice. We can get a card draw dice, but it's a bit risky. Uh, and it has an unforgeable side, which isn't great. And then we get the two balanced die, which I don't think we actually have any. We start with two risky dice with this character. Oh, I've not talked about the dice on this character. So essentially, we start with two chaotic dice. And these can be any dice in the game, and it rolls, and it has a certain percentage chance, 25, of becoming epic. There are ways to increase that chance. And then we have free purify, free shielding. Pretty simple stuff. I think we're going to go for a pretty basic extra purify dice just to get some power here. I do really like building lightning. Uh, this is dodge to all targets. So dodge is not only good on us for dodging um, corruption, but it can also stop the enemies from corrupting themselves too. So it's pretty good. Uh, Meteor Rain. Deal one corruption to a random target three times. There's actually some cool stuff you can do with Meteor Rain. One da uh, damage three times. I think... I think we'll go for lightning plus here. Meteor Storm can do some good stuff too. All right, let's go. We start with this enemy. It's a pretty basic one. I don't think it does anything particularly special. Just damages itself sometimes. We do have a very full hand and we drew this dice. This is really good. Let's just play this straight away. In fact, I think we can win on turn one here. Um, 
Yeah. Wow, insane. Actually, we were a tiny bit unlucky. Unless we get the critical here. Which we don't. So I'm going to go ahead and play this on you because you have light shield, meaning it'll block. You'll deal a bit of corruption to yourself, but it'll get light shielded. And we just win next turn. So this character can be very strong, but it is a little bit RNG dependent. Uh, this skill here, Thunderstorm, it deals one purification to a random target six times. What is good about multi-hits with this character is that obviously we have the critical chance, so there are separate like triggers on the critical chance. So stacking these multi-hit effects can be really good, especially when you get your critical multiplier higher. And there are also ways to increase this virtue damage. And if you ever do increase the virtue damage, it just goes off with Ostra. Um, there are relics you can get, which if your Thunderstorm hits your sentries and yourself, it will deal damage to the enemy. So there are ways to essentially make it so this can't miss. Very good stuff. Right. I will say this character can be a bit hit and miss, obviously with it being a, a luck-based character. Thundering would be host. Whenever you dodge corruption, all enemies receive X purification for each corruption dodged. This purification can deal um, critical. This is pretty good if we're stacking dodge, but I don't think we are right now. Sky Piercer, whenever you play, whenever you are Sentinel, play a Meteor Rain action, a random enemy receives X purification Y times, where Y is the amount of times that Meteor Rain action dealt corruption. This could be really good because we do have a Meteor Rain here. I'm not sure about Sentinels playing it though. And this does also have Meteor Rain on it. I could play this, I could go for a Meteor Rain build. Sure, let's go for multi-hit build. I've never played with Sky Piercer, so we'll see how it does. Do a pu two purification for yourself for each die in your hand. End your turn without discarding any dice from your hand. Or we can get a confused dice. Confused dice can go kind of hard. There are ways to essentially make it so these are no longer 50-50s. Right now, though, I don't think it's very good. Want to run it to a random enemy, Meteor Storm? Let's go Meteor Storm. Uh, we'll try and make good use of this Sky Piercer here. Because, obviously, we'll be dealing that X damage every time we deal corruption with a Meteor Storm. Where are we going? I kind of want money so I can go to the Sentinel shop. So I'm going to do that. I'm pretty happy with the dice we've got already. As long as we get um, a stack of Skype here, so we should be good. Alright, what we got here? Oh, so this effect, Dazzling Light, it deals that much purification and then it doubles the value of any confusing dice in our hand. So the ones that have 50 50. So once we get some stacks going on of um, confusion, this can be really good. Um, also the thing that stops the confusion from dealing damage to ourselves. Right now, we're going to have to play this um, Sky Piercer, which is a bit sad. Play that first. Might as well see where this goes. All on me. You know what, I'll take it. One on me. And then we'll go for this. And because of, oh, we should have used this first, because if we heal past the Virtue, we can't use it again. Fair enough. We're taking free damage. I can take free damage. That's fine. Or maybe that was because of... It. Oh, yeah. It's my one virtue play. It wouldn't have mattered. But I only have one virtue play per turn. So I need to be careful. It's a mandatory action. You can see because it's highlighted in red. That is the one downside to uh, having these confuse actions. Is that they are mandatory. So you have to take the gamble if you're offered it. Can we kill here? I guess we're going to find out. I think we can. Uh, what is good about this one Virtue play, though, is that we don't have to play this. Um, this Virtue can be really bad sometimes. So it's nice to have the option not to play it now. Right. We'll collect our loot. See what we get here. Free purification to an enemy for each character dice you have in your dice pool. At the moment, we only have two. There are ways to get more. This has a 10 purification to all enemies side, but it also has a 2 corruption to all enemies side. It's a bit scary. I'm going to skip these. Yeah, let's skip these. Oh wow, this is one of my favourite. So this is a... Um, has a bunch of card draws, you can see. Draw two dice. Um, but these sides deal like 50% random um, things to all enemies based on this number. And it also has an unforgeable chaos side. There are ways... There are ways we can stop that from being a problem. End of turn. Decreases critical multiplier. So this is good if you want to go crit stuff. This is really good. We're going gonna to go, to go for defective searchlight. That is insane. Especially if we start stacking some of the um, trance reduction effect. We're going to go for this. We'll see what's in this event. So we can re-roll all of our starter dice. I don't think that's a very good idea. 
Uh, we will lose the two chaotic dice, and I feel like we want to keep those with this character. So we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, Sentinel Shop. This is why we took the money earlier. So yeah, I hope you're all still enjoying the series. This game gets better the more I play it, honestly. I really like learning all the new strategies. It's a ton of fun. Disoriented. Purifying corrupt actions of any type. Have its type randomize, uh, value randomized between 1 and 6. That's really cool. So, what do they upgrade into? Oh, it has cleaves and all. Oh, we're totally taking that one. That's super fun. And it fits into the theme of randomness. That's nice. Um, and yeah, that's it. We get to keep a bit of money for the next shop. All is well, all is well. And um, we're going to go for the hard fight. I think that my opinion of this game is that you should always, always, always take the hard fights. Um, they're usually not that much worse. Um, and you tend to get a much big, bigger bonus. Because you get star blessing, you get extra money, you get better dice, I think. It's pretty good. Um, in fact, no, you don't get better dice, but you do get that star blessing. Super, super good. Uh, so what do these guys do here? This guy has hidden to self. That's fine. Shadow mantle to random stuff. This guy has corruption to all enemies. Hidden. I'm not actually too bothered about hidden here. Shadow mantle, random. Yeah, this doesn't seem that bad. Doom to all enemies. We really want that not to happen. And you apply doom to self. Um... We don't have any balanced dice in the dice pool. Oh, no, we do. We do. Let's draw them. All right. We are going to start with a Serenity. It applies here. That's fine. You rolled a two. We're going to have to go with this. Oh, it actually mega went off. Um, it hit everything for Purify instead of Corruption. So that's really nice. I don't have the thing to uh, Sky Pierce here. So that's kind of bad. We're going to try and kill this one first because it's on the lowest health. Um, we're going to have to, unless we get lucky with a crit, which we did, do that. Then we're going to cost... This will live if I do this, so that's fine. And then we'll live as long as we don't take bad damage here, which we don't. Cool. And then we're going to kill this one next. All is well. They are getting a bit of hidden, but we do live. This fight wasn't that bad, and it, the the stuff you get from it is so much better. So I highly recommend taking the hard fights. Oh, this is good. Play that, thank you. Let's see. Hit me. Okay, we may need to heal ourselves here. Oh. I don't think it's a possibility for them to kill us. Uh, I'll heal one here, heal one here. I'll throw two onto this thing. Three. My sentinel can die. That's fine. He'll come back at the end of the fight anyway, and I'd rather not die myself. Unless we get very unlucky. We're fine. Alright, we need to end the fight now, though. Let's see here. Um, this is guaranteed. And it, it means there's less targets for our virtue, which I completely did not realise was not usable. Right, hold on. We need to get very lucky here. We got your lucky, that's good. Uh, not too lucky, though. Please. Right. Do that. And then we have to get lucky again. Okay, I really need the sky piercer to do something for me. Oh, we dead. We do lose a life. I think that was to be expected. Uh, you know what? No pain, no gain. I'm okay taking a life for a star blessing. That's kind of the standard rate for that anyway. The sky piercer though, that's pretty cool. This is whenever... Whenever they play meter in action, a random enemy receives that purification X times, but X is the amount of... Uh, meteor rain that dealt corruption and it can trigger critical okay what are you done and again we took a heart but i don't mind going down hearts here especially when the boss is uh the shell guy oh electrostatic field is really cool so essentially if we play a lightning storm on meteor rain we can guarantee that it hits a chosen enemy 
I'm pretty okay with skipping these though. Because we're doing Meteor Rain instead of um, a Lightning Storm, we don't really want it targeted on one enemy, we want it spread out. Okay, and we get into a uh, Brilliance here. So Brilliance is the thing that allows us to uh, manipulate randomness. So um, for every Brilliance we have, these 50-50s get an extra percentage chance to not... Um, not be bad. So essentially, if we have 20, 20 brilliance, this will be a 70% chance to be good and a 30% chance to be bad. Um, it can't go negative, and if we have enough brilliance after playing brilliant spell, we get confused multiplayer, which is going to increase the damage of these things. It's a very good thing to go into, um, and it's usually good to have some. So I think we're going to go for the one that has more consistency and card draw. Let's see here what our star blessing is. What is this? Whenever you do a critical with a safe dice, confuse action of any type or random purify action, increase its critical multiplier by two. Whenever you or a sentinel deal corruption to an enemy, gain three brilliance. This is this is really good. <laughs> this is really good with meteor rain. Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, get in here. <laughs> if we're playing meteor rain, that's going to equate to a lot of brilliance, which means this dice basically can't whiff um, and nor can any other. A random chance dice, which is really nice. We can go and destroy a dice if we really want to. We can take money into our um, into our shop. Hmm. Let's go and take. Uh, um, let's take the money into the Sentinel shop and try and upgrade our Sentinel a little bit. Uh, I think committing to upgrading one Sentinel is really good. These are not bad, but I'm going to upgrade this guy. Because he gets a bit of cleave going on. I think cleave is good enough to upgrade for. Plus, the lowest sentry level you have um, is the minimum level that shows up after bosses. So it's always worth leveling up. Are we going to go down to one heart here? Am I daring enough? I think there's a bit of variance. So I think we're just going to take the star shard instead. I think I can survive on two hearts. I don't really need to rest. But I also don't want to go that campsite without getting some kind of benefit. So we'll just take the star shards. Alright, we don't get a stack of star piercer, but we do get to draw a card. Is this the star piercer dice? It isn't. Okay. Let's get the brilliance first. Get that. Interesting. Um, Anything we can draw? I don't mind that. This, what this does is increases random purify action value. So if we get a random purified dice, it will increase its number. So we're just going to play that. There's no reason to have it because we don't actually have any. But it's good to have. Let's play this. Hopefully it doesn't screw us. I don't think it did. Would I like to reroll this? I think I would. And we can try and reroll this too. We're taking five guaranteed here. Alright. Think about it. This needs to go into you. So, you're taking five, so you need to be healed. I need to heal here. No crits, that's fine. And we'll go into you. And then we should all be good. We are going to receive some Unholy Mist, which means we get some Shadow Mantle every time. That's okay. As long as we live, I'm not too bothered. And Gus, we have eight Brilliance. Probably want to play this first. I do want to heal, so let's heal. Then we're going to play this, because every time it hits, we're going to gain more Brilliance, and we want as much Brilliance as possible before we play any chance-based dice. So let's do that. Got some Brilliance there. I think we're going to go. It can kill me. Oh, I'm going to do this just to be safe. And then we're going to go. It did bad to him, that's not good. It didn't do any bad to us, though. I'll get a stack of Star Piercer. I'll get some more Brilliance. So now we have 19%, so this is 69% nice. Um, I would like to roll that. We're taking 5. Would I like to not take that? I think I would love to not take that. That's much better, okay. We'll try. It blocked it, that's fine. And there's no reason not to go all in here. Nice. I don't think our sentries get our critical chance, but there is a way we can give it to it. He has overcorrupted so many times. So we have six Shadow Mantle. That's not that bad. We can deal with it. Six damage coming in. 
Hmm, think about this. This refreshes all virtues. So let's do this. And then we're going to do this. Hit, hit everybody for correct damage. And then we're going to go ahead and um, do that again. And we can actually use more virtues because it's not affected by refresh. So if we refresh, we can actually play all of our virtues, which is really good. And I think I think we're in a good spot now. Uh, I'm going to take the gamble here. We have successfully gambled. And I think we win. Awesome. Really, really safe fight. We maybe could have done the sacrifice then, but at least we got some money. Alrighty. Uh, my favourite dice has arrived. My favourite sentinel has arrived. So this one's quite rare. It has a discharge on it, which is already really good. And you can see, because we leveled up our sentry, it's level 2. If we had not leveled up our sentry, these would have been level 1, I'm pretty sure. Uh, every side of this dice is replicate, so it turns into a random dice every time it's drawn. So it's much like the uh, chaotic dice in our dice pool here. Also, I did not know you could check your virtues here. That's really, really neat. I'm going to take this. It's just really good. It can also screw you over, but it's, it is really good. It can be epic dice. Speaking of, we got a huge fun storm dice. Do we want to go all in on the um, Meteor Storm? I think we do. Get as much of the Sky Piercer as possible. This is obviously better though, right? But this applies Serenity. Oh, let's do it. Fuck it. We'll go in for the crazy. Right, let's see. One additional die per turn at the start of battle, gain four super positioned. Your next X drawn dice of any type purify or corrupt actions. Have those chained into a confuse action. Um, if I had more consistent brilliance, I'd happily take that, but it's not consistent enough. Starting with silenced isn't actually that bad. And drawing an extra dice is pretty good. Your dodge can't be lower than 50. Whenever you dodge, it increases the dodge by two. But from now on, we only have one heart. I don't think that's worth it. I think we'll just take the extra card draw here. I don't mind being silenced on the first turn. That's like fine. Take him a sip of my coffee here. Mm -mm. All right, we have the uh, Assembler as our boss fight. So we need to be prepared for some AoE. Luckily, I think that Meteor Storm build is just the way to do it. I'd love another dice that has this on it. The more we can stack this, the better. But already we have a really good synergy with this. We're going to get a bunch of brilliance. Um, we need, obviously, ways to stack Light Shield to hopefully prevent the over-corrupting of the enemies. I think we take the money into the dice shop. And then we can duplicate our best dice that we've upgraded. If we have enough money, we can always consider going here. Which I don't think we will. But we'll have a look. It depends on how good the stuff in the shop is. Serenity, Astral Calling, Chaotic Die, Draw. These aren't amazing. I think what we'll do is I'll save my money for the Chaotic Dice Shop. Uh, for the Epic Dice Shop. And we will remove the Basic Dice. I'm not sure which. I think we'll just get rid of a Minor Purify. Don't actually care for Minor Shield, but it is. Uh, minor Purify is the worst dice in the deck, so we're just going to get rid of it. I don't think I need any of this. Uh, let's consider, though, because we are going to duplicate a dice. I think it's probably going to be this Brilliance dice. This is really good. If we get some Brilliance stacked. In fact, yeah, I'm going to duplicate that dice. Because once we've got Brilliance stacked, it's not even going to matter. It's not even going to matter. Silence, not bad. Pretty sure that. I don't know if Refresh can fix this. We'll see. What is this? Windsgur, discard one dice from your hand. If you have less than 75 favourable wins, gain 5 favourable wins. Otherwise, draw one chaotic dice. So, favourable wins is another RNG manipulator, essentially. Uh, it, for each astral... But for each favourable wins we have, when we draw a chaotic dice, it has that much extra chance of being an epic dice. So, it's pretty good. Um, we drew this, so that's amazing. And we can go into this. Um, this is good because we'll gain some brilliance from it, too. We need to be really careful with these over corrupts. I think this is fine. Let's go. It goes to him. We get a ton of brilliance. And obviously our um our sky piercer went off there. 15 15 brilliance. This can't kill me, so I'm gonna go for it. And it didn't kill any of my sentinels either, so that's really neat. We have a six here. I'm gonna discard a dice, and I'm gonna discard. This one. Gain some favourable wins. What are we going to do here? Hmm. 
Let's play this. Might as well. It goes to him. We get some more brilliance. Shall we try and kill an enemy here? I don't want this triggering. I don't want you triggering either, but that's, that's, this is just happening. Unless we shield it, which I'm going to. It had some pawns. I needed to be careful of that. And um, we'll heal. Still have this free that needs to be played. This can't kill my guy, so I'm going to go for it. Does critical apply to corruption? No, it's only purification. Let's go and target this guy down. Wait. And I think that's it. End turn. I hope I've not missed anything here. You can't. Li you literally can't trigger yourself. This is fine. That's we gave. The light shield didn't matter. Okay. Maybe I should have had the light shield then. Yeah, I should have had the light shield. I would have lived it. That's annoying. But oh well. It is what it is. A slight miscalculation. All right. Let's do this. That's really good. Uh, we're gonna play this first. Absolutely goes off for us. I'm gonna do it again. Sweet. Leave it. Oh, that killed him, but I don't think it's gonna matter. We have got a ton of brilliance, so this should work. Sweet. One at you. Plenty at you. I need to be careful of freaking spikes, man. Dealing two to himself, that's not enough. What is this? Confuse Hex Dice. We're fine with Confuse Hex Dice. Let's go two to you. Another two to you. And two to me. Okay, happy with that. This guy's fawns. This guy's fawns is going to be a big problem. Oh, we got a big... We got a big shield. Of course, we didn't roll the shield side. I saw a big shield. Oh, it's here. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it to myself. Because as long as we have shield, it doesn't really matter if he overcrops. Let's go crazy. And it's not gonna matter. I mean, he's dead. Sweet. We did lose a heart. Slight miscalculation. I should have done. Spent some more time making sure that we weren't taking that damage. It's fine. On it, dust. Increase purification received from you until you do purification to another target. No. Um. This is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't think it's very good though. I'm gonna skip. What's this? Uh, Eolic divination. Next X purifications have a 100% chance of dealing critical. I don't think this is actually very good. I think like wasting a dice on that is not amazing. Dodge could be interesting. Don't think we need it. Though. Um. And critical. Uh, let's skip these. I mean, dodge is pretty decent, but I'd rather be rolling into my big damage dice. Right, what we're going to do is going to duplicate that card draw dice, and then we're going to go to the epic shop. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm decided on this it, it being my best dice, so let's do it. It's like half meteor rain, half um, brilliance build. Very interesting. Self-heal with a card draw on it. These are safe dice. I don't like any of these. This could be interesting. I like that it's got a card draw face on it. We'll take it. And we're going to go and look at the epic dice shop. We have 400, so we can actually afford a relic. And because we have 50 extra, we can re-roll too. So let's have a look. Replace your Thunderstorm 6 Virtue with Wind Skitter 10. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that either. Favourable Winds. Don't mind. Serenity. I'm just going to roll these. This. Do a free purification to an enemy. Just four additional purification for each time you are sentinel hit corruption during this turn. That could be dealt corruption. This is really good with Meteor Strike. What's this? Uh, Risky Dire draw on first. Violet Divination at the start of combat. I'm totally going for AP and Skyfall. Uh, this seems like a really good synergy with Meteor Rain because we're dealing multiple instances of corruption every turn. We just do a couple Meteor Rains and then we finish off with that. We're totally going for the hard fight. Because we're going to have minus one heart for the... Here's my reasoning. I want the Star Blessing from here because we're going to have minus one heart for this shrine. And I don't want to go down to one heart ever with this character. So that this character really doesn't like the one heart lifestyle. 
This guy, Nefarious Pulse, so he's going to deal damage to everyone, and he's going to keep applying that to people. So we need to be careful here. Um, I'll get some dodge straight away. Don't like what I've rolled. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I want to get rid of his adds sooner rather than later. It's just damage that we don't need to be taking, really. Please hit a crit. No luck there, that's fine. So... Do a random enemy. I don't mind that so much. That, that worked, I'm so happy. And then... I don't mind hitting myself with this. Oh, I'm so lucky, man. So, so lucky. There was a chance we dodged it too, so I think it was the best use of that. And let's do that. Pumping this guy up's a little scary, because he's going to deal that corruption to himself every turn anyway. And it's just going to get worse and worse. We need to be careful. But I'm hoping that one good AP and sky fall absolutely seals the deal here. Alright, let's start with this. And again. And again. Sweet. Uh, we got a bunch of brilliance from that. Let's go with this. Goes to me. I'm going to start with this then. Hits everybody except from him. AP and Skyfall does 95. <laughs> I'm kind of taking a screenshot of that. That's so funny. Oh my god. I did not know. I did not realize uh, that this would be so grim. Uh, there might be an achievement for dealing more damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to over corrupt him on purpose. Just so I can get over 100 damage with this thing. Um, yeah, 107 purification. What on earth? Well, bye-bye. Oh, yeah, that was totally an achievement. Heavy Purger. Make a creature receive at least 100 purify in a single instance. Oh, my God. I, I, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, mm. For a safe dice? Oh, no, it's epic. This is grim. This is absolutely grim. I love it. More dodge? Nah. We're okay. I'm, I'm all for this. This is such a sick dice. Yeah, give me that. Let's see here. We got the every time you play eight, uh, deal eight purification to enemies, gain one boost. Eight times you deal it, gain boost. That's pretty good, but we're drawing max dice anyway. Every three turns, apply two light shield to all targets. This is good with corruption. Whenever you are sent no place on Meteor Rain action, apply one light shield to all targets. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Amazing. Okay. Um, we have 210. I'm pretty sure that my sentry now costs 200 to upgrade. Because it's level whatever it is. And I do want to have a look at this event. So we're going to go here. A scorching Foundry. You see an old and ominous Eridanian Foundry used to create Sentinel Parts. Despite its precarious appearance, it still works well. But to use it, you have to withstand extremely high heat. I'm just going to gain Star Shards, man. That's like basically a full upgrade in and of itself. Uh, and yeah, let's go here. Let's see what we can do with our Sentinels. So, one thing I found that there's no reason to really upgrade this one because the only thing it gets is more of this pulse. Uh, and it's not even going to be that good. This guy's a really good upgrade. Uh, I didn't mean to leave. That was a mistake. Hold on. I'm so happy you can go back in, by the way. Very happy they thought of that. So, we have two new Astrolabe, which is kind of dog water. And Fawful Plate. Uh, this would be good if... I think it's on itself. I know. It's only... It doesn't matter because we are dealing the corruption to it, which means it doesn't deal the corruption to other things. So what we're going to do is we're just going to upgrade um, this Sentinel here. Because I want uh, more AoE chances, basically. I actually have enough to upgrade that other one. I'm not going to. I'm just going to focus on one. Because I think having one high level one is better than having two medium level ones. Destroyer dies. We can get rid of another minor purify and just keep going off with our like actual, actual deck. Sounds like a plan. Do that. And then what we're going to do here. Are we okay with one heart? I feel like, like it's a bit sketchy. It's a bit scary. Totally. Um, 
I'm gonna just gain the star shards again. I've, I've been really weak with that, but it's okay. I feel like we're strong enough anyway. I just don't want to go down to one heart. I think it's a very bad idea. We can probably kill this guy in one turn if we draw well. That would be insane. Alright, so what's all this? You can precision, that's sick. Oh yeah, oh we can totally do it. We can totally do this. Hold on. Let's lead with this. Is there a better side? There is better side. This is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. Actually no, hold on. Do this first. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is already sitting at 51. We can go even harder. So we're gonna get a card draw here. Let's choose the side. We're basically gonna choose this one. Is this whenever I deal corruption to any target? Yeah, so I can hit myself. And I can go like this. Crazy. That's insane. Uh, I would have rather it been a different side though. That's fine. A bit more corruption to everybody. Leave it. Hit myself for free. Hit you for four, and then you're taking knight to 63. If it crits, I just win. Which, of course, it did. <laughs> oh, what a fun character. What a fun... I defeated the boss on the first turn. That's incredible. Okay, so level three sentinels here. This is pretty good. And it's got precision on it. I think I should take that. Dice drive's pretty good, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to take dice drive instead. I'd rather be drawing than um, choosing sides. Are we swapping it for that? Of course not. This is just better. Okie dokie. This run getting a little bit silly. Critical multiplayer. Aimless. I'll take the aimless dice, why not? Alrighty. What have we got? Increase purification received by all targets. Draw one pure per turn. Draw one additional die at the... Oh, Doom is bad, right? Uh, unless this isn't affected by Doom. It's not affected by Doom. I might want that. One fawn to a random enemy. That's bad. This is pretty good. But how much dice are we drawing per turn? We start with five, six, seven, eight. We've already have max. Hmm. Might not take any of these. Yeah, I'm not taking any. I'll be okay. 500 money is pretty sick. We're at ground zero. Which one are we fighting here? Because I realise there are multiple. This might be our first win on the channel. That's exciting. It's Decayed Star, which I'm pretty sure is the single enemy one. Which is very nice. We like it when there's just one enemy. It is a really bad overcorrupt, but if we get the fight finished in like one turn, it shouldn't matter very much. I would like to go absolutely crazy. Um thinking. I'm going to start here. This is always going to be the best one. What's this? Smoke bomb? And it increase it gives me a 75% chance of dodging corruption for X turns. Interesting. That's pretty good. It's not really even that risky. I'm going to skip it. Ah, it's really good. Let's do it. And what's this? Uh, change a diaper to Thunderstorm or Fear Fright. No, no, no. Now I to skip. Um, let's go for a boon. Why not? Why not get started with a boon? Let's see here. Uh, draw an additional diet to start battle. I'm pretty sure we literally cannot. Draw and I just dice at the start of battle. Every five turns gaining corruptible. At the start of battle, refresh all your virtues. This counteracts this insanely well. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go for the hard fight. I'm feeling it. This is a scary fight because now all of our damage and stuff is doubled. And this has fawns. That only triggers when um, we deal that kind of damage, though. So maybe we could just kill this straight away. Wouldn't be bad. Don't mind that. I'm going to give myself the smoke bomb. I'll gain some brilliance. Unless I want to reroll now. Uh, 
I'll play that because it's the best space. That's fine. What's this? One protection to any target. Can have that, I guess. I am going to re-roll. Because I want to be able to draw more dice. We actually nail it. Oh my god. Insane. We're going crazy. Uh, we're getting some more dodge. Uh, we're going to start with this. My guy dies, but that's okay. I used his dice. Go for this. He dies. That's fine. You're already dealing 39. Everything takes double. I need to deal a little more than that. Let's do that. Oh, that's insane. Oh, what happened? Was it that? It was whenever I dodged, I dealt the corruption dodging thing. Oh my god. And then you take 200 damage. Oh my word. This character can be gross. Um, one serenity to all targets. One torment to all targets. Absolutely not. Um, and I can gain serenity. We're going to skip these. Another dodge dice. Mm, no. I don't think any of this is worth it anymore. We get star blossom. Absolutely free. At the end of the draw phase, we can re-roll all dice in our hand. We can gain boost. I think boost might actually be good. Yeah, let's do it. Because um, whilst it won't work on the first turn, which it never will anyway, um, it's good on the future turns. That's pretty decent. Maybe we'll go to the Sentinel shop. Why not? What's that event? Could have more star blessings in it for us. Hmm... Skip this. Dodge to all targets is pretty loaded. I'll skip it though. Alright. You spotted an abandoned sentinel workshop. You can use its available resources to do some useful things. Upgrade, gain a new, gain 100. We can upgrade a sentinel here. Let's go for the dice drive. That's a pretty clear choice. Um, And then... Go to the dice shop and see what we can forge. Need to save 300 for the epic dice shop at the very minimum. And light shield to all targets is a pretty good side. We can duplicate again. And um, we could obviously just upgrade our best dice here. If you're in Skyfall, which I think we'll do. We can duplicate it rather. Let's duplicate AP and Skyfall. Oh, it has to be non-epic. I forgot about that. So, what we're going to do instead is upgrade... There are any comments. I'd like more of these. And then that's fine. We'll just leave it there. We'll keep our money for the um, epic dice shop. Yeah, let's go. Alright, it's this thing. This thing's absolutely dead. You'll see why. Every time this thing takes damage, it'll take more damage. And, um, well, it's just dead. It, it, is un it is an unfortunate reality for it, but it is dead. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm not dealing very much corruption, my friend. Do that, and then let's do that. Do that. Do that. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Do that. And then, this isn't going to be very much. It's uh, only three. But... This enemy doesn't fight back anyway. Okay, then next turn. It's already on 23. I, I'd say we're having a very, very good run. I'm glad I decided to record today because this is absolutely unhinged. Um, hit him. Oh yeah, we're so lucky. <laughs> it's kind of awesome though. We Again, I think area freeze um, hard hard fights are kind of free. We get another Apian Skyfall. I'm going to go for Thunderstorm Plus, though. That seems better. I'll skip these. These are not great. Okie dokie. What have we got? Um, this is too way too late. Um, we There's no point shuffling rewards when we don't really get any. Every 12 risky dice you play, uh, apply it incorruptible to all enemies. 
This counter is kept between battles. How many risky dice do I have? Nine? Yeah. We're we'll probably taking that. And if you are sent no corruption to an enemy, I receive free purification. That's really good, actually. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And we're going to the epic dice shop, right? So we go here. Let's have a look at some risky dice. We've got another meteor shower one. Take that. Brilliance dice. I'll oh, skip it. Alright. Destroy a dice. It's going to be our last minor purifier. And then we'll go and see what's in the epic dice shop. Hopefully a loaded relic. But I will take anything. Um, this one's pretty good. What's this? Sentinels have a chance to deal in critical. Nah. I'll start each battle game. Free critical for each two safe die having to pull. Offensive aura. I think we're going to shuffle these. Oh, this is really good. <laughs> I'm going to take this. And then we're just done. Let's hope that we can deal with the boss. Um, what are we going to do here? I'm getting two star blessings here. I'm just going to recover a heart. Because I know this is the last fight. Because we haven't gotten the requirement to go past this area. So we're just going to see what we can do. Battle start. So this guy has a lot. He has boost. He has hollow skin. Which is okay. Because we're not going to be giving him any buffs anyway. Uh, this is actually good in a lot of runs. Because if you have the relic that gives things hidden and stuff. Uh, this just negates it. Because it's counted as a buff to the enemy. So we're going to always start with that. We'll draw a dice. Okay, let's get it's off to a good start. So this guy has 25, but every time he does this, he gets more. He gives us ruined dice, which is pretty bad. And he likes to deal corruption to himself, but not this turn. We have a luck dice here. What we're going to do is we're going to play these first to get some um, a chance at um, getting some brilliance. As you can see, we're already going up a little bit. And as much serenity as we can give to this is always going to be good. Um... Play this on you. Get some more brilliance. Right? That's what, how that works. Deal corruption to an enemy gain free brilliance. I don't know why I didn't gain free brilliance there. Let's try again. Yeah, I'm gaining brilliance. I'm just being a dumb dumb about it. Right, let's do this. It kills both my sentinels. We love that. <laughs> it's not very good. But I think we'll be okay. Let's do this. This should help. And then we're just going to deal a ton of damage to him. We need to make sure we're not going to die here. But yeah. Um, do this. And then we just hit him with everything we've got. And turn 11 forward. Hit you. Go. Go. And then I don't mind this so much, so we'll be fine. Obviously, if we had have just drawn our AP and Skyfall, we would have absolutely won that turn then and there. Here it is. It's not on a good face. This is the worst face it could roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we'll keep that. Keep that. I'd rather roll a different side, please. Uh, it's the same side. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Uh, do it again. Do it again. It hits good. Hit this. It's me. I would rather it not have. You're not, do you're not doing anything to yourself. So I'm going to give this to me. Um, then... Get some dodge. Start hitting you. I think we just win here. How much? 30? And it crits, we just win. Okay. <laughs> this character's gross, but... Oh. Oh, that was so fun. So yeah, as you can see, we got to a door here. Um, every time we beat with a different character, one of these lights up. So I'm pretty sure we have to light up all of them to uh, unlock the next area. But yeah, we win the run. And we get some experience. Let's see what we get for leveling up here to level 3. Probably some more dice, sides, and a star blessing see here. Level 3 of Ostra. Uh, whenever an enemy dodges corruption, that enemy receives 45 purification and loses all dodge. That's pretty sweet. Whenever you are a sentinel who deals corruption to an enemy, gain 5 dodge to that enemy. That's pretty good. That works really well with this too. If you have less than 50 brilliance, gain X Doubt Dispeller. 
What is Dark Spell? In the next X Confuse actions of any type you deal have a 100% chance of dealing um, that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so there's this big, like, um, Confuse multiplayer thing. That's cool. Um, deal X purification to any target. Um, X, interesting. Change all dice from your hand with random purify and corrupt actions into purify and corrupt actions respectively. Oh, so it swaps them around. Interesting. Oh, random actions. I see, I see. That's cool. We're done. We lost some hearts on a battle, so we do lose some points. 2,360 though. I think that's respectable to say that we weren't playing with any Ascension levels. And that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you had a bunch of fun. I know I definitely did. And I will see you all in the next Astrea video. Bye-bye.